Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Alexandra here and I hope you're all doing really well. I'm back in with another makeup video reviewing uh, makeup products that I think are worth buying again. So you've probably heard this or seen this all over the internet recently and this is the Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation by Revolution. I'm itching to try this because it's got such good reviews. Um, I haven't really seen any bad reviews on this product. I've also got more of their products that I really want to try as well. So I'll be trying their new um, mousse blush and also another blush of theirs. Um, I won't get it all out now, I'll just go to F7, just because I like matching it to my self tanner. So I'm gonna give it a um, pump on my hand. I'm gonna go for one pump. I'm going to get my beauty blender and I'm going to go in. So it's supposed to be like really healthy and good for your skin. Now, apparently this is very buildable if you want to go for a more full coverage look. But look at that. Oh my gosh. And this is in natural sunlight. So, that little one pump went a long way as well. It has a very light scent to it. So if scents aren't your thing in makeup, then this probably won't be for you. Although it's very, 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 very light. Um, I'm not normally into scents uh, on my face just because normally they tend to break me out so I'm just going to go in for a little pump like half a pump on my forehead and my nose yeah they tend to break me out but this is glowing whatever is left in the back of my hand I'm just going to use that for my nose I try not to put too much product on my nose otherwise um, it will start to separate because I'm very oily around that area I've got my mirror I'll be back okay I've got my mirror and I've got the lightest like layer on ever you can totally build this up um and make it a little bit more full coverage but I just really like thin layers of um foundation um and then if obviously I have any breakouts or anything I kind of just layer it up but I think for me that's going to be it I'm just going to go in with a tiny little bit of concealer and this is just my usual revolution conceal and define in the shade c2 and i'm just gonna put the tiniest little bit there a little bit on that blemish and that's it so first impressions of this foundation it is very very lightweight glowy but not too too uh glowy where it makes you look shiny or anything just right like i said very buildable you can go in with another pump um over the top of this this was a pump and a half um and just build it to your desire but absolutely loving that you can see in the daylight yeah it's very very nice very nice and they have a very wide um, shade range as well. So I don't think finding your shade would be an issue. So well done, Revolution. That's very nice.
Okay, moving on to their blush. So this is Mousse Blush in the shade Squeeze Me Soft Pink. And I saw this colour and I was really looking for this kind of shade. A very dusty, dusky kind of pink. So I'm just going to go in with my finger and place it where I want it. And then I'm going to go in with my sponge. And I go up uh, in the temples as well with my blush. A little bit around the eye. So again, this is a very lightweight mousse blush. Um, they have like a berry tone and they've got like a coral tone as well. I've only seen three shades in this blusher. Um, I probably will try the more berry tone shade. And then I'm just going to go in this side where the foundation was and I'm just going to blend that out a little bit because I will be going over it with powder blush but yeah again this is very very nice you can build it up it's not super super pigmented you saw how much I put on um but I'm gonna keep it like that because I'm gonna go in with another one um and this is in their dewy range so this is the super dewy liquid blush and this is in shade, you had me at first blush. So I'm just gonna put this on the back of my hand. It looks kind of scary pigmented, but it's actually not that pigmented. Um, and I normally layer these two up. I normally layer these two up because it gives a really nice pop of color with these two blended together. <clears throat> and I'm just going to concentrate on on this not so much the apples of the cheeks but the cheekbones just to give me a lift and define a little bit. I'm just checking in the mirror. So when you see me facing this way, my mirror is this way because I find it really hard to um, get an accurate look in the viewfinder. So yes, I'm very blessed. I don't know if you can see it in the camera very well, but in, in real life and in daylight, it's very dewy, very glowy and very blushy. Love it. Very nice combination. So, um, I need to sit under my eyes, otherwise they're going to crease. So I'm just going to go in with my normal CA Translucent Setting Powder. Just get rid of any creases ready to set. Oh dear. Now I'll just set my eyes and a little bit of my face. I don't feel like I need to crazy set this um, foundation, to be honest. But I'm just going to set where I normally get oily or where I feel like it separates. But I do want to keep that, some of that dreaminess. Okay, I'm going to go in now with um, some bronzer. I'm just using the Revolution, I'm using loads of Revolution products today um, in the Mega Bronzer in shade Cool, 01 Cool. 
So this is nice when I'm tanned and nice when I'm fair as well. And I'm just going to dust that along my forehead just where the sun would normally hit and tie that in with my neck and make sure it's all nice and blended a little bit there have a little bit wash over my eyelids give me some colour and then I'm going to go in with my by Terry um, brightening CC palette in Beach Bomb and I'm going to go in with the coral shade and the pink shade dip it in both just for a perfect shade and it really complements the liquid blushes that I use it doesn't take away from the colour at all really complements it nicely a bit on the nose I think base is done this is the sky high um, product by Maybelline mascara by Maybelline I tried the blue one in my last video so this is just the black one and it's probably my favorite mascara um, just because of the wand and how lengthening those lashes. Very, very nice mascara. Okay, now for the lips. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Colour Sensational Lip Liner in the shade Almond Rose. I'm going to line my lips. And a good tip, if the lipstick in the middle or lip gloss, whatever you're using, over time comes off, if you draw the line and then shade it in in the corners, then if the middle part does fade or come off, then it's not just gonna, you're not just going to have that line around the lip, but it's going to look more blended. So I always go in and blend it as much as I can. Now the new product that I am trying is the um, Lifter Gloss by Maybelline in the shade Petal. And this goes really nice with this lip liner. It's a very pigmented gloss. It's got hyaluronic acid um, and Plumps without giving you that burning sensation that the new one that they've come out with, which is this one, um, which has got chili pepper, um, maxi plump. I don't know what that is, but it hurts. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been able to wear that without wiping it off, but this one's lovely and so pigmented. I'm just gonna clean up the edges. And that is the look. Now I have um, the same lip gloss but in the shade Wreath. So it's like a nice, 
coral color. And that's also a really nice shade for summertime. So yeah, absolutely love these glosses. Super pigmented and not sticky, hydrating and nice and plumping without giving you that burn. So this is the finished look, very, very simple. Um, daytime, very dewy, but not too shiny. Um, and yeah, these are the new products that I've tried that I think are worth buying again, that I will definitely be purchasing again in different shades. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.